All right, man. We got to shout out our guy, friend, close family, our dude, Jack Niedermeyer. What up, Jack? Hey, you, you spelled my name wrong, man. That's me. That's me. I, I don't know how to spell your last name. That's M E Y. Is it M E Y E R? M M E Y E R. But it's it's okay. It's it's. I okay. think it's I think it's spelled that way in my phone too. That's why. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh well, man, Jack, man, how you been, buddy? Uh, I'm mean, I'm doing all right, man. I, I, I like your hair, Sean. You're growing it out, man. It looks it looks hey. great. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. I love Started it. Started out as as defiance. And now it's just gotten out of control, and I'm going to see how far it'll grow. Dude, it's pretty keep, big. It's camped it down because of this headpiece. Keep it rolling. I know. I, I can say that, that I'm, that's what caught my eye the first thing I got on here, dude. It's looking great. Keep it oh, up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, man. I'm not going to make any comments. So I can pick anymore. that thing out in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> my hair's looking good today, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's why I'm not wearing a hat. <laughs> I, nice. I would just like to point this out. First, two things. All three of us, first, are wearing Redskin shirt. And now the biggest thing, though, is Jack's wearing a Redskin shirt in Melissa's house. Ooh. I wore it downstairs, too, and she didn't say anything. So I just kept my mouth shut. <laughs> but I've got I've got two things left that got the logo on it and everything like that. So, yeah, I'm trying to. Well, do you need more? I, I could send stuff to you. No. I could have it shipped right to you. I, had to give the, I gave that hat to Sean. I, I couldn't wear it. I wasn't allowed to wear it anymore. So it, it just comes in spurts. You know, sometimes I'm okay. Then anything might trigger, you know, the response of, you know, the you know the terrible thing that is the Redskins and the, and the, and the terribly racist logo. So, so what, um, yeah. what if I'm trying to get – Get like some bootlegged commanders sh shirts mm -hmm. with 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 the Redskins logo right there, you, and then you, you can wear them. If you commanders. can get them from China, yeah, they'll, they'll they'll do anything you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah they'll China. Anything you you want. can go to DC. You get some of you those DC? spray paint that stuff on there. Some of the street vendors they got it. <laughs> Watch oh, this yeah. season. Once we walk, if we get a chance to walk in the stadium, I bet you there are gonna be some cats on the side. Like, look, I got these new <laughs> commanders with the, the That's logo. What I'm that's what you could oh, be showing man. Melissa. Like, I'm just supporting the commanders. It's an alternate logo. I'm supporting local businesses. Yeah, absolutely. You're absolutely right. I, I might actually go to a game this year. Um, yeah, Claire wants to go to a game, and I was talking to uh, I was talking to Tucker. He, he might want to hit up the hit up the Giants game this year at home. So okay. um, that might be a W, man. I might that go see. I might go see the Commanders W. That hasn't happened. I don't even Josh know. Josh Norman, the I don't Cleveland even Brown know. game we saw. You're right. You're right. We sat it, close to the sidelines. We had really good seats. That was back when Braylon Edwards was still playing. That was a long time ago. Been. Yeah, years ago. I remember that. Yeah. You well, all right. Speaking of that, yeah. you're talking yeah. about you. You're going to a game. I mean, we're all in here, all decking out our stuff. Jack, I asked Will this question. I know it's just preseason, but there's got is is there excitement in the air? Like, were you excited about this preseason game and this kind of preseason? I watched more than I thought I would. I watched like a, I watched about the first quarter. Um, but um, I, I'm just so I'm just so I've been hurt so many times. Like just yes. It's it's tough, but but at the same time, it's it's new ownership. It was like I was texting Will. It's it was so nice not seeing Ron on the on the sideline, just you know sitting there with his arms crossed, going like this, not saying anything. <laughs> God, right. God, it's so nice getting him out of there. And I love him as a person. He's a great dude, but yes. it's just you know it, it was getting real bad. Like so, yeah. so you know, I, I'm I'm probably the most excited I've been. I'd say since the RG three year, and oh. but that that was that was like the the peak of my excitement for the last like you know ten ten years. Like well, it's it's, it's a that? it's a very very you know large second, like a big sure. gap. Okay, the, I got gotcha. you. So I'm not, but you know this is the most excited I've been in a, in a while for sure. But um, it's it's you know new quarterback. Uh, new coaching staff. They got a lot of new faces in here. That like a lot of just you know a lot of turnover, and and it's you know it's necessary. You you, you know they got you got the the talk of a, a new stadium, but you know that's going to be five sixty years down the road if that. And then you know maybe, maybe a rebrand kind of up here in a couple years. Like they they got a lot of they got a lot of stuff going. You know there's there's a lot of stuff to be excited about. I think, and so it's oh, yeah. just you know just got to be patient. And you know I'm not expecting them to to make the playoffs this year, but. That's the thing I love about football, man. Like you can turn a team around pretty quick. They, they might, they might, they might, they might, you know, surprise us here. But it's 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 tough to say. I'm not, I'm not I'm not going out that far yet. But you know, 
everyone's talking about the next Texans and everything, and you know, we'll we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Right. Yeah. I don't. I did not get good odds at the time when I was in North Carolina to look at uh, Commanders over on wins. I did. I did get good odds on JD five rookie of the year though, so I might have put you. you I think that's. A, that. I think that's a solid bet. I, he's got a chance, man. Like he's definitely got a chance, depending on that line. But like, um. Yeah, I like I like Kingsbury. I like what he did with uh with uh, Kyler. Like I, I think he's right. got a chance to really put up some good numbers. But right, you know, so so we'll, we'll see what happens, man. But I, I think that's a you know I think that's a good use of your money. Uh, it, yeah. it might be between him and Caleb. Did you say rookie of the year or an NFL MVP? Or, rookie or of the year. Rookie? Okay, yeah. okay, I got you. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> MVP. Well, those odds would probably be pretty Whoa. good. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> you said it perfectly. You kind of segue into you know the next question we had was going to be. What coach are you most excited about this year? You can you, you said we brought in a lot of new faces. It's got to be Joe Witt, man. Like um, that defense, so was so was so bad last year, and that's I blame the defense of why our boy Sam Howell is no longer here, Sean. Like I, thank you, I sir. think that's why. Yes, thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Among they, other things, they, they, they were well, yeah, but the, the, they're playing behind <laughs> every game, every single game they're playing every behind. Game. Every and single had them in there. Yeah, they got, say that yeah. again for the people in the back, Jack. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. If, if we had a better defense, Sam Howe would still be here right now starting this team, and we would not have picked number two overall last year. That's for sure. Do you want to be in that situation? <laughs> would you want to be in know. 2024 in that situation? Maybe. <laughs> I'll never know. I'll never know now. <laughs> it's too late. I'm just afraid he's going to go out there in Seattle and take Geno's job and start tearing it up, man. So, you know, that's happen. how it happens. That happens happens with, with, <laughs> with Washington Commanders, man. So, yep. so but, but, you know, but, but again, that, that defense last year was so bad. Like, I didn't even know how bad until I started looking through the stats. But, like, they were last in total defense, pass defense. They gave up 59 total touchdowns last year. Rush defense, 27th. Scoring defense, last. Um, red zone defense was probably their best uh, best stat. They were 21. 21 uh, overall. Ben, but don't uh, break. Sean special. Yep. Still pretty, yep. still pretty bad, but not yeah. as bad as the other stats. So there it, you go. It, it's so wild yeah. to me how bad they were on defense yeah. with Ron and Jack Del Rios. Like honestly, yeah. I just don't understand. These guys are are career yeah. coaches, and yet our defense was literally, like you said, it was pathetic last year. The, they might have had a good system, but they they just they were unable to get the correct personnel in here. Yes, like they just they could not do it and you know that's it's clear so you know yeah. it is what it is but yeah the third down efficiency you know uh 28th overall i i remember watching so many games where they just the, the other team would just convert third down after third down after third down and just yeah. you know break off like a you know 12 12 minute drive and i just sit there watching it so yeah bad times man yeah but yeah. Also, in comparison yeah. To now all the pieces that we've added to the team. Obviously, you know, getting a couple guys from Dallas, getting Frankie Lavu and Bobby Wagner, really building up that front seven. Mm-hmm. Although we still kind of have a void in the secondary. I mean, what are your expectations for that? Are we going to get better? I mean, there's a lot of talk about it. I don't think it's possible to get worse, man. So, um, yeah, in this case, like the, the only thing you might be missing is a little bit of a, you know, rush outside on the, you know, on, on the edge, you know, losing, losing sweat, losing, you know, as much as Chase Young didn't play, losing him is going to, you know, going to hurt a little bit, I think. But, you know, with the new defensive scheme coming in, it, it was nice seeing that first team, team defense play for the first drive on, uh, you know, against the Jets. I, I don't know if they're playing against their starters. I doubt we were, but, you know, right. but still like, like you guys were talking about earlier with Lulu flying around, um, and I know Will was hating on my, my boy Jamin Davis, but you know I saw him come off like come off his block on the edge after sealing the edge and you know make a solo tackle. He like that dude's super athletic. So if like so if you can if you know Ron and, and Jack were holding him back from you know switching into you know his true position, like who knows? Like he'll get some rotation, he'll get some play this year, man. Like with you know being 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 short on defensive end, I definitely think you'll see him coming in there and you know outside linebacker. So you know. It, We'll see. We'll see what happens. Maybe maybe he's been a pass rush specialist this whole time. We just we just never realized it. So, right. But um. But yeah, yeah. Again, Luvu. You, you, you didn't even see Bobby Wagner in there. So like, mm-hmm. yeah, I was looking at you know the most most of the linebackers from last year aren't even here. Cody Barton's gone. Jabril Cox is gone. You know, Dejon Harris is gone. Even though they didn't do much. What Kalik Kalik Hudson Kalik. gone. Yeah, D- David Mayo. You know I. I yeah, I've always liked David Mayo. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Yeah. Our starter yeah. from last year. He uh, was our starter thank, thank for a couple of games. Thank yeah. goodness. Come on yeah. now. Looking Come at on, this, man. looking at this Jags, man. <laughs> not 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 wow. impressive. Right. Yeah. And and then like you were saying, Jack and uh Jack Del Rio and, and Ron played linebacker. I mean yes. and, like it, it blows it blows my mind. So but yeah, th- th- those, that's probably the, the positional depth I'm most excited about. I know that with uh, like the the linebacker, the, the, the revamp linebacker core. So um, I think that's I think that's going to lead to a different look this year, and, and hopefully keep us more in games. Work on that pass defense. Right. For for this is Forbes last year here. Like he's he's gone after this year, and then yes. every time I hear Christian Gonzalez's name, I'm just going to get upset. You're you know? gonna, yeah. And which to Jack's credit, I will tell you this, Sean. The very yeah. day next day after the draft the draft he called me up cussing out the decision and he was just like that christian gonzalez was there what are we right doing there. and you know optimistic will is like oh but they like forbes they SCC want this guy. Will. he's an scc guy he's an yeah, scc guy it, is. Yep. it does mean more right it just world. means more oh my god yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's it's depressing but it, it yeah. certainly seems like, yeah, like all three of us are on the same page where it's like Luvu seems to be that guy they brought in where we're like, what do we have here? Like how, you know, what, what is this, what type of havoc is this guy going to, going to wreck? Mm-hmm. That's what, that's going to yeah. be fun on, on Sunday. All right. So Ben, Ben posted a good question since you two love Sam Howell. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you all read it and, and I'll give you a chance to answer it first. Sure. So, so I, I I think it's tough to say. That's like the chicken and the egg type thing here, mm-hmm. where it, it definitely he definitely put them in bad bad positions with the turnovers. But at the same time, playing behind and playing also in EB's offense, like you were completely one dimensional. Like he was yeah. dropping back like fifty times a game. Like like yes. you, the defense knows what's coming. Like it's it wasn't it wasn't just Sam Howe and his failure to kind of you know take the next step in his progressions to get better as a quarterback, but he was just set up to fail with that coaching mm-hmm. staff and the play calling. And then also that defense not being completely unable to bail him out and him constantly having to play from behind. So, right. you know, I, I see what Ben's saying, but yeah, I think it's again, a multitude of things, offensive mm-hmm. line, like you said too. Yeah. Not, not great. Took most yeah. sacks of it by far of anyone else in the NFL. So, yeah. yeah. And I, and only, and the only part I ever, and you know, people get on me because, oh, I love North Carolina and this is your guy, yada, yada. But the thing I get that I always get on people about is that, yes, he was bad. Yes, he struggled. But damn, if he didn't have any help whatsoever, getting sacked. I mean, for four or five weeks straight, we gave up the season high sack total for the opposing team. Like, we were lit. I mean, he was on his back. So, of course, he's going to start having happy feet. And, and to, your, to your point about EB, when all the routes are 20 plus yards and right. it's taken, you know what I mean? You don't have three and four seconds back in the pocket. So, I mean, everything compounded on each other. And I'm not saying that he wasn't a problem with it, but for people to sit there and continue to say, oh, Sam, Sam, he just wasn't ready. He wasn't, he wasn't given a fair shot. And we're comparing them with other guys that are given fair shots, and we're like, oh, these should be the same, but it's not the same. So right. I, thank you, Jack, for saying so well what you did. I'm not, and, and I hope he does well in Seattle. I'm not going to uh, I wish him the best, man. He's a good dude. I, he's a tough guy. You know, he gets a lot of respect of the thing. He took he took last season like a man, dude. He, he did. He uh, What a terrible He job. kept his mouth shut during yeah, the Yeah, he did. He did. Yep. Yeah. And most anyone else would be like, do you understand the, the hand I've been dealt here? Like, what, what do you want me to do? So he comes out with a book there. a couple years ago. I'm gonna, if he comes out with a book in a couple years. I'm going to read that. It's going to be a bestseller by Dan, yes. my year in Washington. My year in Washington. <laughs> yeah. 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 Why so, I got CTE, Washington. You <laughs> talked about <laughs> we're concerned that Sam Howell didn't have enough of a chance to win. Have they addressed the roster enough? for Jaden Daniels, or is it a little bit of roster malpractice and not be bringing in someone like Brandon Ayuk or getting him another receiver? I think they, like, honestly, like, the commanders are not in, like, the the, the space to get that luxury item like Ayuk at this point. Like, you're going to have to give up, give up draft capital and then pay him. And, and then so it's just not, you know – I'd like to see Dotson play well this year. Like they, 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 they they've already got McLaurin. They drafted McCaffrey. Like, I, I, where they're at right now, no. 
Like I don't, I don't think they need to go out and get like a, you know, a high price item like Ayuk. Um, and also, regardless, I think San Francisco is looking for some type of receiver in return. So like, who are you going to give him back? So like, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. They're just not in the position for that right now. I think the only reason they kept on getting tied to them was like, you know, Jaden Daniels and that, that connection. Yeah. So like, you know, otherwise, like, and, and look at the drafts, like the last like couple of years, like you can get good value at receiver and like, the, you know, this third, fourth round, like college football with, with where the offenses are going, where they're so pass happy, like you, like there's receivers everywhere. Like, and so like, why, why would you give up draft if like, you know, give a capital, give up, give up, you know, your precious cap space right now when you still have a lot of holes in your roster. So, you know, some of these other contenders, yes, but commanders, no. Maybe in three years when we're in the playoffs, but not, not right now. Right. Well, you, you, you're breaking up a great point about the draft capital to kind of know, because because yeah, Jared's right. Uh, Ayuk and McLaurin would be would be a heck of a duo. But what do we gonna, what do we need to improve our roster with next year? If you were to give up that first round pick, which that San Francisco would love, would love, mm-hmm. does that take away you drafting a a left tackle? If, and maybe you move Col- Coleman to right, or you find out if Coleman's not a left tackle or a starting corner, you corner. know, and that yeah. including the second round, look what they did in this second round. They got three impact players. One's a little bit dinged up right now, but at least two impact players in the second round. And you, you would have to at least give up a second round or so. Is that, is that setting yourself up to, to miss out on something like that? All right. We got a special, special guest appearing. <laughs> Good night, sweetie. I love you. What's that? Good night. Go get mama. Okay. Good night. Because I'm on a show. <laughs> Future Commanders fan. She just doesn't know it yet. She'll, yeah. she'll oh, find out this fall. Let's go. If you ask her, if you ask her though, Chiefs is number one for her. So I'm trying, trying to change that. So if I take her to a game this year, right? Yeah, we just got to hype. Yeah, we got to win, Jack. Real hype. Yeah, they got to win. They definitely yeah. got to win. <laughs> so I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm sorry to interrupt. What were we saying? Was we'll- totally, no, you're yeah. totally right. You're totally right. You got to take her to a game. All right. So last question is just kind of t- talk to me about this season. Like what, what are you, what are you anticipating? You know, Ben mentioned he could see seven, eight wins. What, what do you think is going to happen this year? Oh man, the Div- division's tough, man. Besides, like you know, the the Giants and you know, uh, they don't have a terrible schedule, but it all depends on how the offense line shit goes up. I got a lot of faith in the coaching staff this year. I think Kingsbury yeah. is gonna, you know, really, really write some stuff up that's gonna help Jaden Daniel succeed. He's proven to be able to do it, unlike the unlike the enemy. So. You know, I don't see like a giant leap. Unfortunately, I think I'm probably, you know, missing the playoffs and picking, you know, picking the middle of the round, something like that. You know, maybe getting, you know, between six and eight wins is, you know, pretty, pretty safe in my bet. But, yeah. um, so yeah, yeah, they're, they're definitely going to improve for sure. You're not going to see that, you know, that hot, hot mess of last year. Right? You're definitely going to see more, be us more in games, you know, closer games, I think. So, um, yeah, that, that's kind of where I'm at. Like, it's it's not going to be a complete dumpster fire, but it's not going to be – you're not going to be competing with some of those high-octane teams yet. Right, but, right. But, you know, give us a couple of years. Give us some good drafts, mm-hmm. and then I, I I can see that happen. It looks like Dallas is on the decline. Mm-hmm. You know, um, Definitely. yeah, they got to pay – yeah, they got to pay a lot of guys. Like, I don't know what they're going to yeah. do. And then – um. Yeah, Giants are pretty bad. I can't. I still can't believe this gave, gave up Saquon. I watched. Uh, I watched Hard Knocks this year, and it really this time it really made me feel that I could be a GM in the NFL. <laughs> watching, watching that guy, I'm just like, like what is going on? I couldn't tell if he was just like, like kind of hamming it up a little bit for the show, or if that's what he does in his actual job. Because I'm just like, like what is like. How how is how is it so hard to be like an NFL GM if if, if this if this clown's doing it like it just right. doesn't make any sense to me right right yeah but be yeah be <laughs> overall I, I I can see them competing a little bit this year and just uh being being better off I think we're gonna have some stuff to be excited about this year guys yeah I'm with you I'm with you I think that that's that's spot on absolutely absolutely all right man my guy Jack Niedermeyer man hey it is always a joy and a pleasure see your face my guy i appreciate you hopping on here anytime man it's been it's been busy so yeah just just ping me i'll, I'll get on here for you boys we as appreciate we get through it. and get the regular season they're gonna actually gonna watch more than six games this year i think that's what's gonna happen so what? yep yep i mean you watch the preseason game so it's a start first we're getting quarter. somewhere first quarter <laughs> that's, right. that's a new record for me hell yeah let's go <laughs> my guy all right we'll see you next time but
All right. Have a good night, guys. See you. All right. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> the Washington Commanders. There it is.